to not only honor these individuals for their agricultural contributions through, through the years, but to have them really reflect on what was influential and then in them getting to where they are today. So let me do a, a brief introduction of each of them. Most of you perhaps have a, a biographical sheet in front of you. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna read over all of these, but uh, the information is there for you. We'll start on the front with Dr. Roger Beachy. Roger is a professor emeritus at the Department of Biology at Washington University in St. Louis. Dr. Beachy also serves currently as chief science officer at Indigo Agriculture. Um, he's a senior fellow at the World Food Center at UC Davis. He also previously served as the executive director there. One of his um, more notable accomplishments that brought him into the national scene in a, in a more pronounced way was he was appointed by President Obama to the National Science Board in 2014. So Roger is obviously here in the middle. He's not on the end. We're gonna jump around a little bit. Down at the end is uh, Dr. Russell Freed. Um, Russell retired just recently in January 2016 uh, as International Agronomist and Associate Chair of Plant, Soil, and Microbial Sciences in the Department at Michigan State University. And he was trained as a, a plant breeder. Harold Kaufman is sitting here closest to me. His PhD was in plant pathology. He was a research scientist for 15 years with the International Rice Research Institute, which was headquartered in the Philippines, and he worked as part of a global rice improvement team that developed technology that doubled rice production in Asia during his tenure. And on the far side, sitting between Roger and Russell is Dick Stuckey. Uh, he also uh, is officially retired as the Executive Vice President in 2001 from the Council for Agricultural Science and Technology. The mission there is to bring science-based information to legislators, regulators, and the executive branches of government so that laws and regulations can be based on science rather than public perception. And again, his PhD was in plant pathology um, from Michigan State University. So you're noticing a theme here. Um, something yeah, about Michigan, <laughs> <laughs> something about Michigan State University, and something about plant pathology, and I have a feeling that uh, will show up in their stories as they as they talk to us. So I, my suggestion is that we start on the end there with with 